So to import an image inside of Adobe Captivate, you have to first go to Media right over here and then choose Image. Once you choose image, you can select the image that you want to import. So in my case, on my desktop, I got sunsetpicture.jpg as you can see right over there. So these are all the image format it actually supports. So mine is in JPEG format, so I'm just going to open that up. Once I click open, you can see that the image has been imported. So you can go over here and resize the image just like this. You can hold shift to resize it in proportion and drag it around right over here. So you can go around and use these corner, uh, corner uh, marks, the corner points over here to resize the image by holding shift to resize in proportion. If you don't hold shift, you can resize it anywhere, any way you like, as you can see right over here. So over here on the top, you, you can also rotate out the image and to see the image properties, you can go to properties and work around with its properties right over here. You can also label it out to, to make more sense of it. So this is when there's no fluid boxes at all. But if there's fluid boxes, there's not, the image controls and alignment will be quite different. So I'm going to go to the slide option and create a new content slide. And over here, I'm going to bring in, let's say horizontal fluid, a vertical fluid box. So I'm going to have, let's say three vertical fluid boxes just like this. So let's bring up the image in the middle one. So I'm going to select the middle fluid box as you can see right here, just click on it. And then I'm going to go to media and then I'm going to click on image right over here. Once I do that, you can select the picture you want to import and just click open and that will be imported and resized to fit just like this. And now you can see that you have options right over here on the right side. You can fit to stays right over here. So it is fitting right on to this section as you can see. So if you were to resize it, it fits just like this as you can see on the fluid box. So I can resize it, but I cannot go beyond the stays over here. So I can really stretch it out if I want to, but I cannot go beyond the stays as you can see right over there. So I can resize this out, but this is pinned out as you can see right over here. Another thing that I can do is work around with the fluid box padding to realign the image. So I've already selected the fluid box right over here and here's the padding just like that. I'm going to go to the vertical padding right over here and add in let's say 50 pixels of padding. So now you can see that there's a padding on the top and at the bottom. I can also change that out. Let's say I'm going to do around 100 and there's 100 pixel padding on the top and 100 at the bottom. You can also align it out so it's vertically middle aligned. That won't change much, but let's go for the horizontal al align option right over here. So if I were to click on this, do left align, the image is on the left now. And now I can work around with the horizontal padding around 100 pixel. So you can see that it is left aligned now. I can right align it. I can center align it and so forth. And these are the different types of padding that I can do. If there's multiple images over here, so if I were to copy and paste this, I just did control C and control V. Now there are two images as you can see right over here. And you can go over here onto the fluid box option and you can see that right now it's the center align. You can right align and it affects both of the pictures right over here. There's also space in between and space around as you can see. I can have more than one images. So there's three images now as you can see and everything works just accordingly. So let's do uh, something like 50 pixel padding over here and 50 pixel over here as well. So you can select different options like space in between and maybe space around. So in my case, it is acting equally because there, there are three images now. So you can go on to center line. So let me just delete this because like three images are not showing up the result. There's middle align right here, top line, bot bottom, and I can go for right align, left align, space around, and space in between. So these are the different types of options that I can work with for image alignment inside of Adobe Captivate using properties. So that is how we import images and work around with image alignment options inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.